Hi friends. Welcome to the October vlog. Yes, so fun, so spooky. I was super busy this month. Like I'm sure a lot of people were super busy. I wasn't that busy. Um, I thought, you know, what would make it better is if I vlog the month and put even more on my plate because why not, right? Like why not? Uh, but it turns out that I suck at vlogging, like hard. Like I'm not good at it. It was my first time. I'm never comfortable in front of the camera, like at all. So it's a bit of a train wreck. And I never really explain anything. So I'm going to try to fill in the gaps here because like I said, this is a mess, like a huge mess. But we'll be in this mess together. Let's go. Obviously, October is all about daily drawing prompts for artists. I'm a lazy little goober though, so instead of just dedicating my time to one prompt list and doing all of them, I decided to pick a few lists that I liked and just pick and choose my favorite prompts from those lists. And here are the two lists that I ended up following. So I mapped out all of my plans in my planner for October and Drawtober and what I was going to be drawing and when I should be drawing them, but I also had other stuff going on. I had four expedited classes online to keep up with, which I did not want to be taking. <laughs> Commissions, business stuff, video releases, a week-long trip, and a minor dental emergency. October was basically filled with daily to-do lists in the desperate hopes that I wouldn't let anything slip through the cracks in my... Swiss cheese brain. I spent a lot of time doing my Drawtober prompts out in the kitchen rather than at my desk because me and my mom were obsessively watching The Curse of Oak Island every day. Literally from when I woke up until like 10.30 at night. It took so much effort for us to be productive while we were watching. Like we were obsessed, completely obsessed. It was almost like a relief when we finished it. I'm not gonna lie, like we were finally free. So this is basically what the start of every day looked like. Cleaning up after yesterday's me's mess, taking stock of what still needs to be done and by when, and then double checking my calendar and then making a new to-do list for every new day. I tried to pace out my other big items for the month like commissions and school projects. So that way I wouldn't be super busy literally every day. Like honestly, thank God I planned my month in advance, otherwise I never would have survived. I barely survived as it is, like I wasn't even drawing daily, like how sad is that? I do not understand how other artists do that, like I'm such a procrastinator and I'm so lazy and just so willing to be like, oh no, I guess it just wasn't meant to be and then I'm like so ready to quit and make excuses. I don't understand how other artists do it. Like. You just, how? How do you have the time and the willpower and the energy and the motivation and the inspiration and the patience? Anyways, uh, I mostly drew the prompts like the day before so I could post them the morning of the prompt. And as I said, I'm a lazy person. So in between all this stuff, I was also just like hanging around, like doing my thing. Wasn't really trying too hard to be productive. <laughs> So this footage is at a really cool local comic store. We wanted to like, when we moved to Florida a year ago, we were like, okay, we're gonna like go do all these things and like make all these friends. And like, we haven't done it yet. I'm gonna blame it on the pandemic, but we're also just really lazy. So anyways, uh, we went here to look into that and then we forgot, we literally forgot to ask about it. <laughs> Oops, so I guess we're gonna have to go back and try again. I was also on the lookout for two specific Funko Pops. As much as I love to collect and hoard things, I personally think Funko Pops are just like a waste of money and I have like no desire to own them. Like I, there's nothing about them that I really find appealing. Except, except for two of some of my all time favorite characters, Draco Malfoy and Bucky Barnes. Those are literally the only two characters I would ever want Funko Pops of. But for some reason, they're both impossible to find anywhere. Like on eBay, there's like a Bucky Barnes for like $250 or something. Um, but on this day, I was actually able to find a little Draco by chance. I didn't really get why they designed him like this with the spider on his face because that moment only happened for about two seconds in one movie. Like not my ideal design for him, but at this point, I'll take what I can get. 
So I was planning for the 11th, the Magtober prompt, draw your workspace. I had this very clear vision in mind. Like I wanted to do the classic Cal art sketchbook page of the very detailed pen solid line work type thing of a whole room. Uh, very linear, very simple lines, but a very complex piece, very detailed. So like I sat down to try to see if I could do my whole wall where all my art supplies were. But once I sat down and like saw the angle that I had set up, I was like, you know, like this, this isn't right. <laughs> this is not gonna work. Eventually I just sat down at my desk and was like, okay, you will like, we'll just see what happens. We're just gonna do it like this. Like I didn't really have high hopes anyway because I never draw in this style. And when I do, I'm never really happy with it, but I kind of just sat back and enjoyed it. And I didn't really worry about how it would look. Uh, and then I ended up really liking the result. Okay, so it is day 11. The reason I am filming this October is because obviously the Drawtober drawing prompts are going on. I'm not drawing every day. I have two main prompt lists, Magtober and Endicott's Tea Party, which is by my friend Sarah, um, that I'm following those for like 15 days. Like I picked my favorites and I wrote them down. I can show you my list. So I like picked a few different lists and just wrote down my favorites and planned out, you know, when I would be posting, and like vague plans for what they would look like. And so far I have done everyone. It's only day 11, but I've completed everything that I've planned to complete so far, which is better than I normally do. So things are going well, um, but not only am I doing all these drawing prompts, I also have eight commissions going on, three which are already done. So I have five commissions I need to worry about, which are meeting their deadline to halfway to the deadline. We're in that phase where I really need to start doing things. Um, I, sh I really should have closed my commissions for at least this month because I'm so, for some reason I had this huge boom. I had like 10 people contacting me. Thankfully a couple like bailed, not bailed, but they like never followed up and like completed the commission. Thank God, otherwise I would be so overwhelmed right now. So these next few days are gonna suck because I also have to get like ready for my trip. I have to like pack. I have to like start downloading stuff on spot. I have a layover both ways, so I have to like download stuff to like do to keep myself entertained <sighs> it's not that much it's really not that much i'm acting so dramatic i just like i'm i get stressed easy i am super happy with this piece this is one that i had to have done way in advance because it was supposed to be posted during the week that i would be away on vacation and i did not want to be working during that week uh, so this was for Magtober Day 15, recreate a piece of famous art in your style. And I decided to do the John William Waterhouse piece, La Mia, but I made it gay. Is gay a style? No. Do I care? No. It's gay and it's great and I'm happy. This is another piece that would be posted while I was gone, so I had to do it way ahead of time as well. Uh, it was probably done like the 12th or 13th or something, and it's for the prompt Beetle for day 16 of Endicott's Tea Party. By the time I did this piece, I had kind of decided that my goal for Drawtober would be to really just follow my instincts about prompts and try new things, push myself, get out of my comfort zone, and not to set out to make Instagram worthy type art. Like I wanted to branch out and just like make whatever I wanted to make, what I felt inclined to make. I didn't want to just try and make stuff that I thought would get a lot of likes or what was comfortable and safe for me. Anyways, I really wanted this piece to have like a spooky black and white like creepy feel and it's based off- <laughs> this is kind of lame. Like not lame, uh, but it's- it's based off a song that I'm trying to write which like listen, sometimes we, we just have that gay little ditty in our hearts that we need to let out, and this is one of them. It's about like a lady's lost love, but anyways, I'm happy with how this turned out. I feel like it reflected the song really well. It like captures the imagery that I really liked. Um, it's not particularly creepy or haunting, but it's better than a lot of my other original digital pieces, so that's a win in my book.
I'm simple. I'm easy to please, I guess. That's a lie. That's not true. <laughs> this month, I was also working with a few different companies, some planning ahead and some like actively doing. And this is one of them. I was working with Arteza. They sent me some stuff to review. So this is a post that I had to like work into my schedule in between prompts. Um, I actually really enjoyed doing this. I didn't think I was gonna because again, it's stuff that I don't normally do, but I had a really fun time doing this. We love traveling during a pandemic. Hell yeah. Uh, seriously, it's insane how many people can't just deal with wearing a mask. And as much as I love airports and like flying on planes, which like I do, I really do enjoy it. I love everything about airports, even when I'm rushing or a flight gets delayed. Like I, I just feel like a successful businesswoman who has places to be and things to do, you know? It's like when you go into a Target at 3 a.m. Things are just different, you know? And I love it, I do. But anyways, uh, one of my oldest and dearest friends got married and I obviously was not going to miss out and I couldn't really make the 16 hour trip on the road by myself, so I had to fly. But thankfully the flights were pretty good about social distancing at the very least. I had a few rows to myself at one point that was really nice, so minor miracles, I guess, I don't know. So for the week that I was in Virginia, I stayed with my best friend, Hannah. Uh, we had a lot planned, but mostly just spent a lot of time hanging out and catching up, and it was really, really nice. Like, it was really nice and refreshing. I mean, we hadn't seen each other in, like, a year, maybe two years, I don't even know. It's a long time, too long to go without your best friend, so that was a lot of fun. Did me and Hannah stop at the cemetery down the street from the wedding venue afterwards just to take pictures and mess around for no reason? Yes. Yes, we did. But listen. When I'm dead, if no one takes ridiculous selfies with my headstone, I'm gonna be so sad. Like, what's the point? If people can't enjoy your corpse or the stone that lays on top of it, none of this was worth it. You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? Hannah and I also went to my absolute all-time favorite place in the world, McKay's used bookstore. Literally, I have yet to find a used bookstore as good as this one. I mean, the amount of credit that you get, insane, incredible, I love it. I miss McKay's every day of my life in Florida. Honestly, you have no idea, my heart aches for McKay's. We also really wanted to spend some time doing some like spooky activities, you know, like ghost hunting, visit some historical sites. Back where I lived in Virginia was like a really historical area. We wanted to see some local places that you just take for granted when you live there. But scheduling didn't really pan out for us and we didn't get to do quite as much as we wanted. But we did get to see Occoquan, which is a really adorable local-ish area. And then we went to the local battlefields and we got some really nice ghost pics. So super fun. That truck ruined the shot, but that's okay. lady is a ranger and she stopped to ask us what we were doing and it was not embarrassing at all I think I want to make some of these prompt drawings like prints or stickers or something. I know everyone really liked the little party frog. Definitely gonna make a print out of him. Uh, and also like these little manatee boys. I would love to make these a little sticker pack. They're just so freaking cute. Uh, anyways, I decided to do manatees for the study pages because 
Lately, I've just really been enjoying drawing animals, which is like a new thing for me. Plus, since moving to Florida, manatees are suddenly like much more relevant in my life and they are slowly making a home for themselves in my heart. I'm determined to get footage of them someday, but they're really hard to spot. And like when you do, they're, like they're only out during certain parts of the year and like in certain places. And when you do see them, it's always like too fast, you know, and you don't want to miss the moment. But that is the one thing that I love about Florida. Like now that we're at beaches and watery places <laughs> more, like we see so many cool things. Uh, like we've seen giant stingrays riding waves, baby sharks, manatees, and so many dolphins. I honestly, this is gonna sound dumb. I always thought dolphins were like, that people were exaggerating about them. Like I thought they were like a really rare sight, you know, because I didn't like live near water. But if you're around the ocean or an inlet for long enough, like you're bound to see them. Like we, it's a regular occurrence. And I love that. I, it's so fun. They're so cute. Okay, this haunted painting. I had some goals, you know, I had some dreams for this piece. Once I get to a place in digital art that I'm really happy with, I might revisit this idea. Not that it's necessarily like unique or interesting, but I really liked it. But I'm just like bad at like settings and environment and anything else besides faces. Like I like how it turned out, you know, it's not that it's bad. I just wish I had made more frames. So it's like a lot smoother. And also it's not exactly what I had pictured. But I started this like late the night before I was supposed to post it. So I really wasn't trying to make too much work for myself. And I, I genuinely enjoyed the process and the idea. So overall it flopped on Instagram, but I'm happy with it. And that's all that matters. So Magtober started with a self-portrait of what you really look like, which I had a really good time doing and I really loved how it turned out. And then it ended with another self-portrait, but this one was how you feel. And at first, like on instinct, I was going to do this really amorphous, like weirdly proportioned, mushy, melty portrait of myself. Like I'm just used to drawing myself and interpreting myself in that way. Uh, but as I was trying to plan it out, I realized that like, it just wasn't coming to me, like it wasn't happening. I didn't know how to draw myself that way anymore, even though I've been doing it for years. And I was like, bro, why would I even draw myself like that though? Like when I'm happy, like I'm really happy. I feel better than I ever have in a, in a long time, maybe ever. And I want to represent myself like that. So I don't know why I thought I was gonna do this like edgy self-portrait. Um, Cause that, that's not how I feel. Like I feel good, I feel happy. The final piece didn't have quite the effect I wanted. I wanted it to be a bit like, like I was shining or like I'm, you know, just really happy. I'm like radiating type thing. Um, but I kind of, it just looks like highlighter stripes, which is what it is, but it didn't have the effect I wanted, but I still like it. It was low effort. It was like a lot smaller than the other one. It's fine. At that point, I was just so done with drawing prompts and I had also gone like a little too hard with all of them because I was trying to make up for the fact that I was only doing a few prompts but they don't all need their own whole page in my sketchbook so I did like a smaller prompt low effort but I still like it it's still it shows how happy I am kind of hopefully so I'm satisfied Uh, hi! <laughs> Overall, that was my October. I wasn't as productive as I could have been, but I had a really good time. I got to see friends, which was super refreshing. I've been very isolated, not only because of quarantine, but because I'm in Florida, away from all of my friends. 
I barely talk to them online anymore because I'm so used to being isolated. So that was super fun. Super nice to see people catch up with friends from high school. Um, I did some cool art stuff. Good month. I had fun. Let me know if you like the vlog thing, if I should do more or not. Okay, that's all. <laughs>